Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night. It's cold in Florida, folks. That's why we're all, like, bundled up. <laughs> I know. Sorry, it's 53. We're little wimps in Florida. You can see Dave was bundled up. I'm bundled up. Tommy was bundled up this morning. It's a beautiful thing. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your, all, use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 75, Nasdaq's down 156, S&P's are off 22, gold contract up $8.20, trading at 1849 an ounce. We got silver up 12 cents, $23.91 an ounce. Late sweet crude up 194, $85.25 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 12 ticks, trading 128.04. The 30 year off 18 at 155.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 74 ticks, trading 95,992. Euro's at 112. Yen is at 113.92. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, we take a look at the SPY first. What you're going to see out here is that you know, you go downtown yesterday, big time, market came back, downtown this morning, you know, the, the SPY got to 427, 10 points higher than that, You're inside the range, the range is being 426, you know, bottom line, you can only have so much selling, folks, okay? What's intriguing here, of course, is that we're coming into the Fed, how they're going to talk about it, what they're going to do, and I'm sure they're shaking in their boots themselves about how they are going to uh, <laughs> put this in words, okay? Bottom line, my take here inside the spy that this thing's going to bounce to at least the the 450 area. We'll see how we'll see how it handles that area, you know. But yeah, 450 first. That that's just basically 450 to 453. That's the first leg up. And I expect that as we get up to that leg, you're going to see that thing go on low volume. And the X100 is the same setup. We got down to 341 today. You're at 358, uh, 48 right now. Bottom line. Now, the difference, this is, this is kind of intriguing. The NDX 100 is, is weaker than the SPY. That being said, this bounce could go higher because where, where we're going with the NDX, 378 is game. It's just because how the, the NDX broke down so dramatically, too. So I suspect 378 is game in here. Gold. Gold contract wants to break topside. So this will be interesting to see how the Fed, you know, comes into the aspect of how how many rate hikes they're going to have. What I suspect they're going to do is this. This is what's really intriguing about what the Fed has done thus far versus what plenty of market pundits and analysts have done. You know, we know we've read, like, in, in a monster way, oh, there's going to be six in a row, there's going to be eight in a row rate hikes, okay? The Fed, you know, if you, if you read those papers, say nothing like that. OK, bottom line, Powell said, yes, I'm going up and it's going to be a steady deal. You know, I think what they're going to have to do tomorrow, they're going to have to reiterate that. Guess what? This is not going to be a fast, furious rate hike. One after, it might be one after the other, but I don't see it being eight. They're going to say something because guess what? When you have a market that, that you know, can go down 10 percent, which markets can all the time um, and that shakes a lot of um, closets, that's for sure. Now, look at this. If you were listening to Tommy this morning, I, I, this, is, this is great info. So, excuse me one second. I'm just getting my phone because I took a picture of this. Okay. So, Tommy, in Tommy's show this morning, he was talking about, there was an article on Bloomberg yesterday. It was a great article. And what it had to do with was the aspect of when volatility comes in like this. And they have the, they have the actual dates when this volatility came in, you know, and you can go right back to 2000 and the first volatility in, in August, you were down 4.25% and then you went up 3.8% before the day was over. 
Well, the bottom line is that that deal there, folks, was the beginning of the downdraft for over two and a half years. Now, none of us know, like, okay, how long does this go on? My take, though, let's, let's, put, this, let's put this S&P up for a second, is that we're going to be in a very large consolidation. So what I'm going to do here is this. Because most of the time what ends up happening is that you end up doing very large ABC structures on the way down. And the danger now is that the first, leg, <laughs> if this is going to be an AB of an ABC structure down, the first leg is extraordinary because the leg goes from 4878 inside the cash S&P down to 43, 4222. That's insane. Okay, but it is what it is, like over 500 points, right? So let's picture this. Let's picture that you turn around and you bounce all the way up to uh, 44.95. That's going to set in place 4,000. 4,000 sets in place. Let me pull this back. May of 21. Let me see where that is. Uh, May of 21. That's May of 21 right there. And that would be, let me tag that for a second. That's May of 21. I just want to see what kind of retracement that is in the whole context of where we've been. Okay, so, well, 3,800 is a 0.382 retracement of the whole move. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. And we do have time. There's no doubt about that. What we're going to be looking for is this. We're going to be looking for the bounce going higher. And if you have the contraction of volume, that very well could set up a very large ABC structure on the way down. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how this, so, but, you know, we, we know, and it's not just equities, folks. <laughs> it's almost like everything has been pretty overvalued for, you know, the last year and a half. Uh, if we look at the dollar out here, the dollar failed at uh, 96,272. You're at 96 right now, which is really cool because the bottom line is that if you're a gold bull, you know, I want this dollar to fail, and I'm, I'm looking for this dollar to actually get on to 91.097. Stay right there, folks. Come back with I'm Mr. Basil Chapman.